Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a collision between two objects and a trace of an object. So it's more or less like uh, the animation that I've created in here for the model using a tie flow where you have the collision between the car and the wall and there is also the trace of the cube from the cars. So to do that, um, you can delete them all. And let's create a new one. So what we need is uh, that the box and also uh, the car. And um, we just assign the tie flow, add the tie flow, and then um, click the modifier, then upper editor. And then we want to first uh, to create uh, the, the operator for the wall. So first is that we're using a birth object, then pick uh, the wall, and then uh, change the display into geometry, then add the shape. Uh, for this one, we don't need the shape actually. We think I think that we need to have the brick uh, fracture, which is uh, to show the pattern of the uh, bricks. So click enable and then a zero point five with same. So it's like this one. And then we need to uh, make this object to be uh, interacted with uh, uh, with the car by using a surface test so click surface test and then pick the car and then we want to make uh, the object attracted by the distance of the car so as uh, as the car crashed then there is a a specific distance that we want to the wall to be interacted with so we add the physics shape and physics collision shape and then physics collision oops physics collision and then click uh, the car as the the object for the collision then we what we have here is that uh, the building or the wall here should be uh, interacted with the car by linking this uh, to uh, operator. And then we want to make um, the change the distance thus this. Uh, our parameter to be less than four meters so there's only four meters there that will be interacted with the car then we need to change the display into geometry to show uh, the fracture so you can have a play around uh, the distance here like you can change it into like a uh, tree maybe and the radio will be smaller. The next is that we want to uh, make uh, the car as a voxel so that when it's creating the path, uh, it seems that the path is uh, generated by this voxel. So to do that, we use a uh, birth voxel and then click shape, add shape. And then uh, change the 3D into cube. Also change the uh, size of the of voxel in here, like maybe 0 0.3. Then don't forget to change the display so that you, it's shown in here. But we need to pick uh, the bird voxel with the car into the car. 
Ooh. What we have actually in here is that um, the voxel is left behind by the car. So we need to attach the voxel into the car is by using um, object pin. Then pick the object here so that uh, it's attaching to the car. And then the last step is that uh, we want to create uh, the path here from the car as uh, like the trace, like the cube. And to do that, we use a spawn, add spawn, then and actually turn it off to make it faster because we want to make it a, a in a per second not really large rate maybe f six four and then change the spawn into like five so that we have here is now the object is like uh creating the spawn but we need to make it a uh, shown so we need to add the display for the spawn change the display into geometry so that we have the trace in here but we want to make uh, the geometry between geometry stick to each other we need to get it closer so change the rate into six so that we have like uh, this kind of uh, outcome. The next is that we want to control the speed or like the directions of the of the object of the particles in here using uh, the speed. Speed at the speed. Now it's currently we're creating random. Uh, patterns so we want to make them all getting into the crown by using a physics shape between mm, yep so that we have the uh, this object scrammed into the surface of the crown I think it's pretty much all for this tutorial you can see the animation here as the overall outcome and see what happens when it's collision okay so we need to hide the uh, the box in here